so let's talk a little bit about this project. So like I said before, this is an optional or extra credit assignment. That means if you're happy with your current grade in the class, you may opt not to participate. It's not going to hurt you if you don't do anything on this project. This project can only help you. So if you're not happy with your class grade right now, this is a great opportunity to earn some extra points. It's also a fun opportunity if you just want to raise your grade up a little bit. You may be happy with it, but you're always like, hmm, maybe I can do a little better. Or maybe you just are interested in doing this. So here's how the project is going to work. I'm going to let you decide what you want to do for this project. You can really create anything. So that means that you can do like Addison Ping did and write maybe another version of the myth. If you didn't read that, it's really good. It's posted in the stream if you want to go back and check out what she did. Um, you can write it from another, from the perspective of another character in the story. You can change the ending of the story. You can um, create maybe a comic strip of the story. You can draw one of the characters. You can dress up as one of the characters. You can create a video version. You can do this with a partner, if you wish, if you want to get together with one of your friends. And it doesn't have to be somebody that's in your class. Mm -hmm -hmm. So you can get with somebody that's not necessarily in your language arts class, but that has me as a language arts teacher, and you guys can work on something as a team. That's fine. I'll let you, this is entirely up to you. You can shoot a video if you want to like make some sort of long distance video play. If you want to do, I, I'll just let you guys come up with whatever creative assignment that you want. And you're, the points that you receive is going to have to do on two things the level of effort that you put into the work, and the level of creativity you demonstrate. So level four is actually the highest level, and that's going to be worth 30 points. These are for the uh, projects that people turn in that are just where somebody's knocked it out of the park. So someone who get, will get 30 points for this assignment, it's the result of an outstanding amount of effort. That means you guys really worked hard on it and creativity. So the student or students, like I said, you can work together, began with a highly creative concept that was then developed over several hours worth of work into an excellent project. So this is not for the people who want to spend five minutes on something or who even want to spend 10 minutes on something. This is something that you're really going to spend a lot of time on, which is why it's worth so much. This is going to count as a test grade, by the way. So this could really help your grade if you need it. If you work really hard on this, it's going to show. But for those of you who maybe don't want to put in this much work, you still have an, uh, some other options. Level three is going to be worth 20 points. So this is where you're putting in a lot of effort, maybe not going above and beyond, but you're putting in some effort and you began with a creative concept that you developed into an excellent project. So you may, you're may you going to get 20 points. That's still going to help quite a bit because it's going to be 20 points on a test grade. So this could really help you out as well. Then moving on to level three, it's going to be worth 10 points. Here's where you, it's the result of some effort and creativity, and you began with a somewhat creative concept that was then developed into an acceptable project. So even if you're doing sort of a C level of work, you can still get 10 points, um, a test grade 10 points, which is high, weighted higher. So that can still help you. Then for level one, this is where you're putting in minimal effort and creativity and you're doing an acceptable project. So this is where maybe you don't have a lot of time to spend on it, but you want to do something. This is a great level for you. It's five points, but it's five test points. And any little bit is going to help you. And like I said, again, there is a level zero where you won't get any points, but you're not going to be penalized. If you don't want to participate, that's fine. That's up to you. I'm leaving it up to you. So if you choose not to participate, if you want to pass this up, that's on you. If you are happy with your grade, you certainly don't have to do this. So the absolute deadline for this project is May 28th, 2020. That's giving you a nice long time because today is just the 18th. 
So that is giving you a nice long time to work on this project. I cannot accept any late work on this project. Do you understand? I'm going to say it again. No late work on this project. If you turn it in on May 29th, you will be getting a level zero. You won't get any points for this because I am not going to take late work on this extra credit assignment. Please understand that. If you're going to do it, you need to do it on time. So if you want to discuss any options with me, maybe you want to bounce a few ideas off of me or say, you know, is this okay for me to do or can you help me with an idea? I am absolutely 100% happy to help you with your creative ideas, but you need to come to my office hours to ask me. Please don't ask me through email because that's a really hard way to have a conversation. You can also hit me up through Google Chat. Um, if you want, if you're doing this as a group, like if you say, oh, I want to do this with my bestie that's in another class or that's in your class, that's fine to do. And you guys can join me together. Um, if you want me, if you want my help to set up a video conference between the two of you, if you're having trouble with that sort of thing, I can do any of that stuff. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. Okay. You can do it. That's me cheering you on. Yay. You can do it. I know you can.